ancient, ancient, ancient time. Good day to you, my friend, and welcome back to more DML. Today is finally going to be the time for us to unlock our first ancient dragon from this Origin of Earth event. And this first dragon is indeed going to be the Dragon Board Dragon Pulverles, because opening up this purple chest marks chest number 220, and we get the last 16 pieces we need to unlock Pulverles, because it just gives them automatically. But there he is in all of his glory. Of course, Pulverles is the Ancient and Wind Dragon, so I probably won't be using this guy on my team, but you know, it's an Ancient. That's a lot of DCP, and uh, he's part of the ultimate Ancient Divine Emroja collection, so if we happen to get the others, we could get the Divine Ancient Exception Dragon. But we do have a couple of other dragons to get hatching as well. But of course, we're going to throw Mr. Pulverlez into our hatchery, and with him being an Ancient, they take a very long time to hatch. Just under four days VIP. Ouch. So as we wait for Pulverless to finish hatching, we also have two other dragons to add. The first one being the current dragon of the week in the form of painting. Look at this pretty little egg. It's like a, it's like a flower egg. I like it. So cute and just so quaint. You know what I mean? And look at those little horns as well. Ah, painting's cute. But of course painting is just a rare two element dragon. So not a dragon I'd recommend for really anyone to use on a team, but a dragon that I needed nonetheless. It's been available a couple of times before, but I never managed to get it before. So good to finally add you. So this stunning dragon boasts, yes, that is the word boasts, not boars. I was like, boars. This dragon boasts colors and patterns that rival a work of art. Though this trainer believes all dragons are works of art, the painting dragon just likes to show it off. Very cute. It almost looks like a combination between some sort of snake and rabbit to me. Maybe maybe that's just me, but very cute looking baby. I didn't realise painting was such a nice little baby form. But, you know, it's very rare to actually get new dragons of the week. So whenever a new one does come up, I'm like, oh my goodness, a new dragon of the week for me? You shouldn't have, game. But... Very cute looking patterns. I, I do like this um, the colour scheme on this dragon. Maybe paint is like top 20. You know, top 20 favourites. And for a red, that's actually quite impressive. So good job on you painting. The other dragon, of course, that we have is the Bonta, who is here. Who has a little bow tie on the front. How cute is that? But yes, debutante being the epic... Uh, dragon that we got from the collection event recently. So, two more new dragons, and we're gonna add an ancient. Feeling pretty good. We've been getting some new dragons recently. Feeling on top of the world. So the elegant debutante dragon is always ready to step onto the scene, take charge, and make a spectacle. Unafraid to get its claws dirty, it seems to enjoy arranging dragon-centric events. So definitely some sort of managerial dragon over here. Very, very good hair. Um, you know, for some of the dragons, sometimes I'm like, wow, you seriously thought of that idea? And I have to say, debutante being a theme for a dragon, kind of dig it. It's just one of those things where it's like, I would so dig a dragon that was wearing a massive top hat. And now maybe that's just me. But, you know, give any animal a top hat, it normally looks pretty cool, right? But then you give it to a dragon like this, I think it would work. Even a blue top hat or a red one to go with the outfit, I can so see that working on you, Deborah. Um, actually, can we rename you to uh, Deborah? Deborah? There we go. That feels more fitting now. I feel happier to call her Deborah. Now that her name is actually Deborah. But anyway, those are the new dragons. So now that all of that is done in terms of dragon board, for instance, we've got Reptilian, we've got Pulverless. Now, the only other thing that we actually need to do on dragon board is just doubles. 
And of course doubles are going to be RNG. Luckily for me, I believe I can do every fight without having to skip as well. But you'll see that I'm currently on chapter 28 out of 20. So we only have chapter 20 and chapter 21 to go. So I need to at least make sure I've got enough gems available just in case I have to gem. But now, instead of us ever re-rolling, it's just going to be a case of roll, not worry about what actually comes up, and just hope for doubles. So no more re-rolling, no more worrying about bingos or anything, because, you know, I've already got terracotta. It's just going to be roll RNG. So in that sense, it's going to be a lot, I guess, chiller. But at the same time, now that we've got Pulverlet, a big benefit in this event when you do actually finish off the Ancient, like you'll see, is that you get more enchantment mats. And considering how the enchantment arena has changed and a lot of people are struggling for materials now, this is actually a really good way to get bonus materials. So if you're done with Pulverlez, you know, use this last sort of six days to grind out materials if you want. Or if you are going for Skunk, just don't reroll. That's the strats that I'm going to be going with now anyway. So in the meantime, um, I probably really shouldn't be breeding anything else, but you know, I've still got this extra den open for another one hour. Let's go for a, uh, a sand shade breed, shall we? Imagine if this actually worked. Go! Okay, not quite that lucky. Because remember, this combo has like a bajillion outcomes. So if that would actually work, I probably would have been screaming. But anyway, there is that. But in terms of the arena, of course, it's now season two of the arena. So we need to get back up to, uh, what's it called? We need to get back up to the highest league to get pieces of Shinobi. And so normally we would wait until we have all of our energy. So all seven energy for me. But I'm just going to do some arena flights now just to show you sort of what I'm working with. You know, they've got a level 120 fully enchanted planet, but because the sigils he's using are awful, it's a super easy fight. And that's sort of the reality of the game now. If you have max level dragons with max enchantment, but their sigils suck, it's not actually going to help you all that much. Although, in some cases, if they just one-shot our team, we will sort of get demolished. But, like, for example, here, this could be a risky one because the first dragon's got purity. But purity witchcraft is kind of weird. But I've got level 110s not fully enchanted, and if I'm gonna bless, he still doesn't one-shot me. Which is like, he still doesn't one-shot even though he's max level? You'd think that he would. But the answer is no. No, he does not. So, um, it's... This is just an example of what happens when you don't give your dragons the best sigils in game. You don't have to. You can use whatever sigils you like, not really care about the meta, yada yada. But this is what happens when you don't care. It just sort of screws you over in terms of things like the arena. I'm sure that they can still win most of their fights, but if this was a true PvP environment, for example, they would be getting wrecked. But, like I said, overall I don't actually mind players using any sigils that they want. It's like, if you want to play the game how you want to play the game, you do you, friend. But if level 110s would be able to beat your level 120 max enchanted dragons, sort of a problem. And even with rare sigils, I was able to do that as well. But, um, you know, apparently I'm currently in position number two after just those set of fights. So even without doing the seven in a row and getting bonuses, uh, the main problem is the overall global leaderboard, which a lot of people have a lot of trophies already, somehow. Um, but everyone in the Ancient League got knocked down, I believe, to Legendary at the beginning of the season, which sort of makes it very annoying because we've got to get all the way back up to Ancient League, which, you know, we expected that to happen. But it does mean that grinding for Shinobi is kind of a big annoyance, a big problem. But... Anyway, aside from that, um, I'll just open the remaining 16 chests that I've got 
As you can see, I'm currently at just over a thousand ancient chests and uh, 200 pieces of Fund Egypt. Now 201. And that's including the milestone reward. So Fund Egypt for me has not been going too hot. And I've seen other people with a similar drop rate because if we actually check the in-game drop rates for these chests, it says that for every 100 chests, you should get on average 28 pieces of the Ancient Dragon. But you'll see that uh, I think I've gotten like 156 pieces of fun deed you naturally without milestone rewards. And that's from 1019 chests, which means my drop rate is way below average. Still yet to get anything but a times one. So anyone else that's been struggling with Mr. Fun Deju, you know, we're in the same boat. <laughs> Even though I've opened that many chests, I still need another 200 pieces from somewhere. So, um, you know, ancient chests, just like they used to be, just as bad as before. You know, this is why Endless Dungeon was kind of nice, because, like, even this time, at 1,030 KOs, but, um, it's not enough. It's not enough. So unless I use, like, 400 plus gems and hope for a big drop, it's not going to happen. And even then, it still might not happen. But, you know, I've complained about ancient chests for a long time, and these events just never really like to comply with me. So I, I just sort of give up on them. But at least I can get some of the other ancients like Pulverlez. If you're free to play, you can get Pulverlez. You can get Tezza Quaver, but you do have to be logging in like pretty much all the time. And if on top of that, you also need to be at least using some semblance of a strategy or have some idea of what you're doing. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to work out. So I do hope if you're going for those dragons, you can get them. But Fundiju may be a uh, big hope. A big hope right now. But anyway, for now I appreciate you being here. I'm sure we'll be back with a pulverized hatching soon. But until next time, I hope to see you then.